Alright, this is a quick video on how to smash your USMLE Step 2 CK preparation, okay? So, first of all, you know, one question which IMGs have in their mind is, can I take Step 2 before Step 1? So, because you might be in your final year or third year, you might be doing your final year subjects and you might be thinking that I want to take Step 2 before Step 1, is it recommended? This is my personal opinion. I do not personally recommend taking step two before step one and there's a reason for it, okay? It's it's just the number, it's very simple, right? It's named step one and step two. Step one is really basic science and that will lay a foundation for your step two preparation. And step two, especially if you are studying U world, they would assume that you already know some of the concepts which are covered in step one, so they might not even explain that. And some of the concepts are really needed if you want to study for your step two exams. Okay, having said that, there are people who have achieved great scores by directly taking step two, but it's just a general recommendation. I would start with step one and then move towards step two. Second one. The cornerstone resource for step two preparation is going to be UWorld, right? There's no question about it. Now, there are many questions on on UWorld for USMLE step two. So this is how I would go about it. There are around 4,000 questions, right, these days. So with every question, pay attention to the bolds in the explanation. I realized this at later stage of my preparation that even the explanations would have some of the bold important characters. So while you're studying that question, write some of the takeaway points in a different sheet or a digital not notebook. So if you write that different takeaway points for different question, so for one question, let's say you should only write one or two sentences or takeaway points for that, that particular concept, right? In the end, you will have around 4,000 concepts that, that will be a good review for you and your own review material. Now it has two advantages. Since you are you know, trying to condense that information in two sentences, you are actively knowing what's in the explanation. And second thing you are, in the end, you are reviewing your own material, which is an added advantage. So this is what something I would recommend. You can choose to do whatever you want. You can even write in a separate notebook or even write flashcards in the UWorld app itself. So that will make sure you are actively learning the points. The third resource I would say is Emboss, right? Emboss, I really like some of the high yield articles and some of the high yield questions, right? Emboss also has a has a has an option of high yield, you know, 200 concepts of step two. So check that out. The other, you know, important article which I would like to list is medical law and ethics, biostats, patient safety, patient communications section, uh, quality improvement vaccination, risk factors, screenings, especially US PSTF guidelines, healthcare and system, you know, those Medicare and Medicaid and palliative care. So these are the important organ system. I want you to stop the video or, you know, rewind back and know these topics again and write them down and read that specific emboss article. Very, very important. Okay. Oh, by the way, and I'll also like to, you know, tell that we are also running the live course for step 2 CK and 3. That's a combined course for step 2 CK and uh, step 3 preparation. That's a rapid review. We meet weekly live classes and we discuss around 4,000 high yield concepts which which may be tested in your step 2 exam. Very, very, you know, good reviews which students are attending. So please check out USMLE Strike website for that. The third one which I would like to mention is CMS forms. What I would say after you're done with your U world, try, you know, starting to solve CMS forms and, uh, you know, they will be subject wise like OBGY and medicine and psychiatry. They are relatively easy than real deal. But the important thing which I learned from CMS form was ultimately, you know, coming to a simple answer. That's what ultimately NBME will try to teach you as well, that you have to come to a simple answer. If the patient is hypotensive, please give them IV fluids. If the patient is not responsive, you might have to intubate the patient. So what I learned from CMS form was, it helped me to think in a simple way. NBME will straightforward test you for a specific concept or specific question in a in a, in a simple manner. Now, since there are same concepts over and over again, like vitamin B12 deficiency, you know, everyone knows. So they'll try to make a vague scenario 
for the same vitamin b12 deficiency okay so you have to remember that the concepts are only so much they can only test so much but they they make the concepts kind of more vague for the simple topics and then and i'd like i'd also like to touch on anking um deck now these days you know they are offering some subscription on monthly basis which they are updating i really liked the way they were organizing the cards from step 1 step 2 and step 3 it has you know individual tags and i did not use anking personally while i was preparing for my step 2 i was making my own cards i made my own cards like halfway through the preparation and then i just gave up because it was time consuming now you already have pre made um decks and and there's one whole deck which is just $5 subscription right now the thing which i would mention is you really have to know anking and you have to know how to unsuspend those cards and you have to you know know which tags you want to unsuspend if you are going first aid wise or boards and beyond wise so you really have to know some if not all technical aspects of that anki on how would you unsuspend the cards and how would you study otherwise there are many many notes and many many cards and you might be spending a lot of time in just you know studying those cards which might not even matter for your step 2 preparation so anking is for someone who really liked them Uh, who really like that and they might have been doing anki cards from their med school so they might be you know very f- familiar with anki version and uh, they can pick up the styles easily and they can do that but for someone who is starting brand new from from for anki uh, it might be a bit of learning curve and you you might have to become familiar for it and then finally once you are ready uh, the final you know step is of course you have to practice nbmes do not leave any nbmes okay this is you have to understand and you have to take it in your in your brain that nbm is the official board which conducts usml exam okay so do not ignore nbme exams and uh, finally you have to take you know nbmes and you will self assessment and some of the free 120 exams when you are near your exams so this is you know a quick video on your know, step 2 preparation uh, please check out usm strike websites and see if you are interested in that step 2 ck step 3 live course and if you have any specific question about your step 2 preparation please write in the comments below i'll be happy to answer and also check out instagram it's my instagram page is dr apurva_popat and you can direct message me if you have any questions i'll be very very happy to help you and uh, if you are done with your step 2 and step 3 preparation if you are applying for match we have also um, started um, cv editing personal statement editing as well as interview preparation service this year with unlimited whatsapp chat support so please check out their service as well thank you and please subscribe